So, you know, this all started with a conversation with our CEO, Andy Mooney. He challenged us and said, what would Leo do? If he were going to make an acoustic today, what would he make? Fender really has had a storied history going on eight decades now of innovation in the solid body electric guitar space. I really felt it was time for us as a company to equal that innovation in the acoustic guitar space. As we design this third model, it's not just a shape. Each model is different in the voices and sounds that it has, but we're learning all the time. We went through six iterations of the pickup before we found one that really, really spoke to what the instrument wanted to be. It's 75 years of looking forward. It would be very easy as a company to just make strats and tellies and just look in the rearview mirror and be a nostalgia-based company, but that's really not what the company was founded on, and that's not what we're looking to do. Fender era neck radius machine that three different types of sandpaper they put the neck in here on the call and they'll press it down and it'll put the radius on there. This space and the people in it are making the future. We're here in Corona, California, and this room didn't exist three years ago. Final assembly room for Acoustasonic. As a guitar maker, there's a moment in time when you start to see everything in your hands that was in your head. All this was a dream, and now it's here in you know, hundreds of little parts. The American Acoustasonic Jazz Master is a project that started, let's put it this way, we'd always knew we were gonna do a Jazz Master model in the family. We can think of Acoustasonic as a kind of a family or a platform, as the car guys call it. The Telecaster, the Stratocaster, and now the Jazz Master have similar structural characteristics. They have the same sound port technology, the same basic bracing pattern, the same body construction, their bolt-ins and they have similar electronics in the sense that we have two knobs, a volume knob and a blend knob, and a switch. The challenge with the Acoustasonic Jazz Master was in deciding what this body wanted to be kind of when it grew up. Jazz Masters, because they've historically been kind of the alt guitar, originally they were designed as like surf instruments and Fender actually in the infancy in like 1958 thought people actually would play jazz on them. That never quite happened. It really ended up getting adopted on the cutting edge and the fringe of the modern music industry. So you see it in punk, you see it in the grunge movement, the alternative movements all throughout the years. People started getting these original guitars, modifying them with humbucking pickups, modifying them with different switches and stuff and kind of pushed this original Fender design into a place that they had never thought would ever go. So when we started working on the Jazz Master, the idea was, okay, what can this thing be and how can it capture the historic essence of what the Jazz Master became in terms of being the rebel, the alt instrument? We elected to take the pickup in a completely different direction. This is a very powerful pickup. When I grabbed this guitar, first thing I did was I played a metal song that I knew that started with acoustic guitar and then went to crushing distortion. Sat there, played it, threw the switch. It was unbelievable. Didn't need to switch guitars, didn't need to switch settings or do anything. It's a completely new tool, and I have nothing else in my collection that's anything like it.
you know, at the shop and stuff, when I go around, we get, play a lot of different guitars. They just are never as present as this one is. And obviously, it's just so comfortable. You can play it like an electric. Yep. Because it's just so easy to, to bend and, and yeah, do those you, different things. You're kind of getting the best of both worlds. You don't yeah. have to do that ch chunky uh, neck shape on there, but you can kind of have like the acoustic sound and string feel to it. So familiar sounds with an unfamiliar feel, like when you're putting your hand on the back of the neck and yeah. you're feeling your hand cramp up. Yeah, it's beautiful. I play vintage guitars all day, and uh, this one feels like it's got soul to it. When we designed Acoustasonic, we were able to design an instrument that answered a lot of the issues that acoustic guitars can have in live situations and sometimes in studio situations as well. You can have an, an artist who has a wonderful sounding guitar in a studio, and you hear him in a stadium, and it sounds like razor blades. So we were very conscious in designing the Acoustasonic family to be able to produce and design an instrument which sounded good at any level you could play it at. It wouldn't feed back, but you could get this tonality through a full bore stage system. You could get this tonality into a digital workstation. You could get it straight into a board. You could get it in a small club situation. You can experiment with a bunch of different acoustic sounds in real time without putting this guitar down, picking that guitar up, changing this microphone, doing that. No other instrument historically has done those things as well as the Acoustasonic does them. At Fender, we often say that we make our art so people can make their art, which is their music. And these are interactive tools of creative expression, and that's what we're here for. We're always like, how can we do it better? What else can we do? What haven't we thought of? And that's what drives everybody every day. The team that worked on this all really took that charter very seriously and to heart. When you talk about the American Acoustasonic Jazz Master and you think about the versatility by design, it's simple. You don't have to memorize anything, but switch that gives you different experiences, and you've got a blend knob that allows you to take any of these experiences and blend one sound to another. The blend knob is, it is a tone knob. It's not a tone knob that just rolls off the highs. It's more a tone sculpting knob. So when you're in each position, you can just subtly vary it and get it where you want it. Having that type of versatility and that type of articulation, clarity, and subtlety has been fantastic. The Acoustasonic Jazz Master is an important musical instrument because it allows us to do things as players that we couldn't do before. It's not repackaged sounds. It's not this guitar with another fingerboard. This is a different musical tool. If you let it, it'll take you places you haven't been before. And that is no small thing these days. 